I'm Harry Shalmiers. I'm the president of McNally Smith College of Music. It's another beautiful day in Minnesota as I was walking to work. It's warm and lovely and we don't get that many days like that here, so I'm enjoying it. And as I walk to work, I think about stuff. Today I was thinking about what it is in art and music that make the difference between really great works of art and things that are just okay. And I think one of the differences, one of the main things is when a work of art really is authentic and resonates and has true meaning to an individual. It really strikes a chord. It rings true. Doesn't matter if it's pictures or if it's words or it's sounds, but something about the way the work moves and moves you has an authentic impact. One of the techniques a music composer uses to try to create an impact is called a suspension. A suspension has three parts. First, it's prepared, then the suspension happens, which creates a dissonance or something that's got to change, and then it resolves. This is a technique that's very important and taught in every music school in the country. The preparation, a note will be a part of the chord, and it fits that chord. It's harmonious within that chord. So we have this note. Then the chord changes to a new chord, and this note is no longer part of that chord, but it's held over, it's suspended. It creates a dissonance, and what that does is forces movement. It means motion has got to take place now because the piece of music, just like us in life, we try to resolve difficulties. We try sometimes to avoid confrontations. But you know, that's probably not a good idea because just as in music, when you have that dissonant moment, it compels forward motion. It forces a resolution to take place, which means everything's relaxed. Your goal has been reached. And so this is a good thing. People always try to preserve comfort in their lives. Comfort in their music makes it bland, makes it uninteresting. But allowing for dissonance, allowing for confrontation or painful moments that then resolve is what makes music have an extra depth and what makes life have an extra depth. And those things are inextricably linked. And that's when great art and great music is like your life. And that's when it's, it's really, really worth something. And this is the kind of stuff I think about when I'm walking to work.